think what Eureka shows is how education can be fun and children come here to learn uh, but don't really know that they're learning. Hi, I'm Spencer Stokes. I'm a reporter at BBC Look North here in Yorkshire, but I also worked at Eureka back in the mid to late 1990s, and I'm a regular visitor now with my little boy. The, the whole building and everything you do have here is aimed at the visitor, and the most important visitor for Eureka is obviously children. So every corner you turn, every step you take, the building is, is the huge exhibit, really. And that makes a visit so enjoyable, There's so much to see and, and so much to do within a space that's dedicated to children. So you go to school and you have to learn, and you might have to do your homework when you're at home, but then you can come here and be learning about how a cash machine works or how the human body works or getting inside the cab of a lorry. And for a child, that's a whole learning experience the sort of thing you wouldn't get to do at school but as a visit is so valuable and so much can be taken away from just a couple of hours here that you wouldn't be able to get in any other environment really. I think it, so much of what happens here is about doing and seeing, it's a very visual place, very hands-on place and although there is lots to read you don't have to read it, either the child or the adult and you can get just as much out of the exhibits and the experience if you can't read or if you don't want to read and I think so many museums really to, to take something in you've got to stand and read which sometimes on what's usually meant to be a day off can feel like quite a task and at Eureka there isn't that challenge of having to do that you just come in and enjoy it and let your children enjoy it and hopefully the adult does as well.